Hey, I'm Alan Brito, I'm an architect, and today I have a quick tutorial about how to use image references in Blender for your projects. Uh, for instance, let's say someone will send you this image here from a floor, uh, a floor plan and you need to create a tree model from this object. If, if you just want to trace the shape, you don't really need to do uh, much you create your object here your plane you start extruding and you will trace the walls and create the object but in our case if you are trying to use uh, or you are trying to use blender for uh, something like architecture or create models for architecture engineering uh, 3d printing anything related to precise 3d modeling scale is important and uh, in this case we will have to make some adjustments into the image file before starting uh, to uh, work with our 3D model. Let me show you what I do to change and adjust the scale of these objects. If I, for instance, receive an image reference and not a vector. If you press Shift A, you will be able to import this image or add this image to the Blender. Uh, to Blender, as a reference, I will be I will I will be using this option here called Reference. It's the best one from uh, all of the image options because it will give you, it will display the image regardless of shading, lightning. So I will choose this option. And from here, I will choose the image file. There we have it. What is the size? What is the scale of this uh, image? If you want to check the, is the scale of this object, you have a reference you can use here on the side. If you open your object data properties, you will see that we have right here this option with a size of five meters. So this is our reference size for this object. This is important because we'll be using this number to calculate the scale. Now, what is the reference? We can use something here from this image. To make the calculations let's choose this distance here 300 centimeters so uh, to be able to match the scale let's change the scale of this project here from meters to centimeters and i will place my 3d cursor right here you can press and hold the shift key and right click to move your 3d cursor if i press shift a and uh, go into mesh single vert i can add a single vert if you don't have this option here on uh in your blender this is from a, a free add-on called extra mesh objects it will give you a way to add just a single vert i will show uh, where you can install this add-on in a moment if i press extrude x i'll try to get as close as possible to this point now this add-on it's here under edit preferences get extensions here it is extra mesh objects it's part of the blender extensions repository it's free so no uh, big deal in uh installing it in blender now what is this distance this reference distance if you select your edge and open here your mesh edit mode overlays i will enable the edge length you will see that we have this distance here if i hide my image this distance is 84.8 so to change the scale of this image you can do some really simple math here let me bring my notes with the math here's what we have with a distance of 500 centimeters, we have 84.8. And uh, I need to find X, which uh, we have to transform into 300. So if you do some really simple math, let me fix this here. Uh, you have to multiply 500 by 300 and divide by 84.8. You will get approximately 1000. 770.95 so you'll be using this number here as the new size for your reference image let me select the image open here your size and i will type here 1770.95 
it will increase the size and we can measure again let me do the exact same procedure place the 3d cursor here shift a mesh single uh, single vert add single vert extrude x and I will try to get as close as possible as close as possible to that point. And if you take a look, we have 300, which is the exact dimension that we need. Well, assuming everything here is with the correct scale and proportion, you just transformed this image reference file into a correct uh, uh, with a dimension that will match what you need to use this as a reference for 3D modeling. And this is it, you now know how to uh, adjust image references to start modeling for architecture, design, engineering, anything related to uh, precise 3D modeling. Uh, if you wanna know more about how to use Blender for uh, this type, those types of projects, I just updated one of my books it's this book right here, Blender 5, uh, Precise Modeling for Architecture, Engineering, and 3D Printing. I will leave links in the description. It will support my work here uh, in Blender 3D Architect. And from this page, you can download samples. Uh, you can take a look into the pages, uh, download the resources, and of course, uh, get the book uh, if you want to get the latest update on how to use Blender as a CAD tool. You can also take a look into the table of contents see a few more previews of the content of the of the book and i will also leave links uh, with uh, my workshop exact same content but in a workshop format links in the description uh, again i hope you like this tutorial see you next time bye